All right, welcome back to another video on cases for the iPhone 3GS. See here I have a white 3GS, and if you've seen my videos, you, you know. All right, today we're going to do the Capsule Neon, Neo case, actually. The Capsule Neo, they're the same ones that bring you the Capsule Rebel. Today we're going to do the Neo case. So let's go ahead and open it and see what all kind of goodies comes with. Of course, you have a nice plastic case here. Then you have the actual case itself is again protected. And one of the real nice things that they do here at the Switch Easy is they give you this little care package. You dump all these goodies out. That's real nice. You get a little adapter if you have one of those stands where once you put the case on the phone, this adapter allows you still to use your dock. And then, of course, you get the little movie stand, which you can see here. I'll show you how that works. You just set your phone in there. You can watch a movie or something. So that's kind of nice that they include that too. And they also include this little cover for the bottom and a little headphone jack. And I'll show you more about those after I put the case on. So we'll scoot that to the side. Let's go ahead and get into the case itself. So we'll go ahead and get it out of here. See, it's pretty nice. It comes, of course, with a little fake phone. And this is a three-stage case, which is pretty neat. So we'll go ahead and take it apart. There's the first piece, which they call the eye clip. And it's plastic, but it has kind of a, a texture to it. It's not just a smooth plastic. It kind of almost feels like silicone, but it's, it's hard plastic. It, it, it's flexible, but it's still it's, it's harder plastic. And then you have this second piece, which is the T-clip, and it's made out of acrylic. And this is the white one, and it's clear. You can get this in black as well, where this piece is black and this is black. And then the first stage is a silicone membrane. And this is the thinnest silicone membrane I think I've ever seen. So you can see here it is really thin. But it feels really good in the hand too. It's a real nice texture to it. It's nice and smooth. So first off, what you're going to do is you're going to put this silicone piece on your iPhone. And you can see you have a cutout for the camera. You want to kind of try to line all that stuff up. And there's your cutout for your microphone, for your mute. And then there's your rockers for your volume and your sleep. Then pull the bottom around. As you can see there, it's a little wrinkled. So one of the things I find works really well is if you just kind of smooth it into place. You're going to rub your hands around it and smooth it where you want it. Because this will just about cover all of the chrome. Which is, you know, I like the cases that cover up the chrome. Because I, I don't much care for the chrome bezel. I mean, you know, chrome at all, it's nice and pretty when it's new. But it gets scratched up and it doesn't look good shortly after. So you just kind of tug it around. But be gentle. You don't want to pull too hard. Because this is pretty thin. And I'd be afraid you could tear it. But on that note, if you do happen to tear it, the people at Switch Easy, one of the cool things that they've done is they give you a spare inner silicone, which I think is great, along with all the other goodies, the two, the two screen protectors, the squeegee, and all of the good stuff that they normally give you. So that's kind of nice that they do all that for you. So back here, we've got it just about worked on, nice and good. Looks real nice. We've got the silicone all smoothed on. Now, I always start on this acrylic piece where my, my switches are. You know, if I hold it in this hand. Of course, I'm left-handed, so you may do it different. And if you look, you can push this piece. It bends real easy. So I just push the back out of the way and line up this one side real nice and good. See, it's in there real nice and snug. And then this piece, you can see, it's pushed on there. So you want to pull it just a little bit and kind of push. Now, if you notice, see how that corner, it is digging into that silicone a little bit. But as long as you're nice and gentle and go real slow, don't get in a hurry, it will snap on over. As you can see there how it snapped on, you see how the silicone is all nice and lined up real pretty. Here it's a little bit bunched, so you just want to pull on that acrylic piece just a very little bit, and it will line that silicone right back up for you. See? Nice and lined up. And then you have the acrylic T piece on. And then finally you're going to put the little eye clip on. Now I always start at the bottom and what I do is you can see here the bottom it lines up and I put the bottom on and line everything up real nice and pretty and then kind of hold it and you see how the top isn't quite lined up you don't want to just push it because your buttons right there so what I do is I kind of bend this piece and pull it up around and it locks in real nice and snug. 
And the nice thing about this case is it covers up all the chrome. You have this nice lip so you can set it face down. One of the real neat things about the back is the Switch Easy logo, how those little tabs lock into the Krill acrylic. And then you have an opening there for your camera. Of course, there's your button. It's real nice and covered, and it's real responsive. You can feel it click. It's not real hard to push or anything, and it's real flush, so it's not like you have to try to work at pushing that. So you see there's your opening for your headphones, and it's a nice big opening. I have yet to find any headphones that won't fit it. Your mute rocker, real easy to get to to switch on and off. So you can see there, not hard at all. Then you have your volume up and down, and you can really feel those buttons when you push them. You can feel the click. Of course, you have full access to the front, just like normal. Now here's where those little goodies come in. Like I showed you that headphone jack. It just pops right into there. You just line it up, push it down in there, so you can see. Gives you a nice, clean look at the top. Everything's covered up. Now at the bottom, your jack is exposed, so it gives you this little plug too. And it just fits right in your little jack port, and you just push it right in. See, so it gives you a nice, clean look there with that plug. And you still have, of course, your speaker and your mic. But there you have it, the Switch Easy Neo case. I really do like this uh, Capsule Neo. Of course, I'm a big fan of all the Switch Easy products. They're, they're really nice. The quality of this one, it's more of like a, a higher-end case than, say, their Rebel series. It feels real luxurious in the hand, the smooth plastic. I mean, it doesn't feel as durable. You know, with this clear acrylic, I'd be afraid if you dropped it or something, you would scratch this up and it would be real noticeable. But all in all, it feels really nice in your hand and everything so with all the goodies that you get like here you get the little video stand which I think is great well you can sit there and watch a video or something or if you're like me you can actually use one of the video stands to shoot the video if you look there in the reflection of the screen you can see there's my other iPhone 3GS that I'm using to shoot this video and it actually has a capsule rebel serpent and you can see I'm using that case the little video stand to actually shoot this video so that's kind of a nice, one of the nice things you can do with that stand if you want. You can prop it up on something and use it to shoot a video for YouTube like I am. So that's been my review of the Switch Easy Capsule Neo case for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. And you can see here's a little list of all the goodies they give you, which is one real nice thing about Switch Easy. They always tend to give you a lot of free goodies. So that's been my review of the Switch Easy Neo case for the iPhone 3G 3GS.